learn how to render out uh, wireframes directly in ZBrush so that we can use it uh, later on. Uh, our wireframes onto our mesh okay. to show off uh, the topology of our model. Uh, okay. So we uh, so to do that we uh, first we need to choose a model. So we choose Gemma Soldier. Drag it onto the canvas. Then light notes. Okay. Okay. So we can see the wireframe like if pressing by pressing this button over here or hitting the short key, uh, shift and F. Okay, so you can see the wireframe of the character. Now we are able to see the wireframe, but uh, the uh, the problem is twofold. One, we are able to see the wireframe of a uh, single subtune only at a particular time, and the other, uh, it is giving us a poly group which does not look good for wireframe rendering. So we can remove that first. Uh, and the thing is that wireframes only are visible wireframes for rendering are only visible in BPR mode so you can have uh, BPR uh, so one fold of our problem is solved we are able to see the wireframes for a whole of our character so the second part we can go to preference and then drop it on the other side and then go to draw and here uh, yeah, in the draw uh, palette in the draw palette we have the options for uh, rendering out wireframes so there are multiple a couple of options uh, polyframe color like everything is written with pf pf stands for polyframe polyframe okay. uh, you can choose a different color for polyframe for example you can choose red and then hit pf again uh, as we are in the bpr we haven't moved our camera angle so it will update in instant okay okay pf pf okay <laughs> you know that. Okay, uh, and P, uh, P fill that is it uh, specify the strength of our uh, frames. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, it's uh, specify the strength of our polyframe color. We can crank it uh, up or we can make it uh, go it down and then polyframe gray mode we can hit this button so uh, the grouping will go off and then polyframe color okay and then to render it out uh, we we can go to document and choose the size of our document we switch off this pro button or it's in constraint proportions okay then we'll go to 1280 by 720 and hit resize yes resize then we will drag it onto our canvas we will try out the document as you know the canvas okay uh, so uh, now you can see that we can uh, we'll be able to render out uh, bpr uh, wireframe in bpr but the problem is uh, 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 it is giving us a different shading for all the sub tools that is uh, in zbrush uh, the uh, the uh, sub tool which is currently active uh, gives a slight bit uh, slightly uh, other other color than uh, the other sub tools which are not selected so we can remove that also we can go to material and then go to flat color and then we can choose white color and we can fill all the sub tools with the same color so it won't give us a problem we can go to new plugins sub tools and then sub tool master it's a plugin uh, if you if you are not having it you can go to pixie logic site and you can download it from there it's free uh, very good people okay you can go to fill and then we can choose the option uh, either it fills with color or material but we'll choose both color and material both okay if we fill all our sub tools with that uh, so you can see we are able to get a flat color uh, with a gradient background uh, now we want to remove the gradient background so that we can uh, overlay or multiply the uh, image in the uh, comp in the software uh, composing software or you can do that in photoshop also if you wish uh, so we are able to uh, see only the, uh, for uh, uh, posing the character for now we will choose skin shader and we can put a character in the frame where we want and uh, for uh, and for like uh, you are you want to render it for uh, animation purpose and you are rendering it out at this angle but suddenly something like this happens and your model is shifted and you you have made whole of your render uh, then uh, you have uh, you are rendering it again on this uh, this camera angle so it will cause you a problem because the mesh will won't fit onto each other so we can easily tackle that also we can go to movie palette and then drop it on to the website okay and then go to uh, timeline we can show the timeline 
could give you a timeline for zebra okay so you can specify your model uh, we can pose it right over here like we can uh, it looks a pretty good position to me so i can hit a dot just click on it left click uh, so you will get a dot and now you can move your model anywhere yeah, here there here there and when you uh, bring it back it will come to the home position okay now uh, for uh, movie uh, movie palette you can specify the duration of the uh, animation 60 seconds and we can make the document we can record the whole document uh, document means this thing and window will record whole of our window we don't want so we can specify large size and then in the overlay we zero it out the opacity and line track title image zero 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 and modify we can go uh, yeah, it is asking in which axis we want to spin we want to spin it in y axis only a spin frame you can specify any of the three or you can specify two or three it's your wish and it's according to your code you can spin it in i want to spin it for 250 frames and then spin cycle it will be two and then the rest all seems good to you okay and then we can go to turntable option uh, then one thing uh, now uh, the background is of a gradient color so we want it to be a solid white or a solid black so that we can put it on top of the other image uh, uh, later on okay so to change the document color size we can go to uh, uh, document uh, rollout we can now go to the right side and then i can choose a white color and i've shown this in my other tutorial in rendering out ambient occlusion pass for animation you can check that also and then i will go to white color uh, okay we we can see the white color of the background but, uh, but the thing is it is having a gradient on it but we don't want gradient so we can reduce the gradient go to range and then we can hit this again but it's not working so you, we can go to uh, black color hit it again and then go to white color now it is a solid one okay so now we'll go back to our material uh, flat color with for which we have filled the whole of our character now it is invisible uh, so we can go uh, we can hit a shift and f to show off the wireframes and then again we can hit this um, bring it back to the home and then hit a bpr button one okay it is giving us the wireframes uh, one thing which we have i haven't yeah it is giving us different color for each sub tool so we can go to p fill capacity and we can reduce it down to zero so it will give us a, a single for a color for all our sub tools so we will hit a vpr again okay we can see all the sub tools in with wireframes and then we can go to time ta turntable in movie option i have got it over from here and then go to movie option and then hit turntable is recording it will take some time uh, so i'll pause